Hey guys, okay, it is Mascara Monday. I apologize for my crazy hair. I have, I always say I have straight hair, but I mean, look at this, this is not, this is air dried right here and we've got a bit of a weird wave going on and all this. Um, so it's not curly enough to be curly, but it's not straight enough to be straight and it certainly is not straight or curly enough in either way to actually be cute. So air dried hair just looks scraggly and stringy and gross on me, but that's just what we're working with today. <clears throat> we're not talking about that today. <coughs> Excuse me. It's mascara Monday. So we're talking about mascara today and I've got the air volume mega mascara from L'Oreal was it? Yeah, L'Oreal. Um, airy formula and that's a sh picture of the brush the brush shape which is also on the back here this is not the waterproof version but it is blackest black and I do like the packaging it really kind of drew me in I kind of like this tube it's not too clunky and crazy but it is enough to kind of draw the attention so I did like I do like that so let's crack into this guy and see what we got um, <clears throat> if you're new here welcome um, I do not curl my eyelashes not, I'm not, I don't think it's wrong or I'm not really against it. It's just not something that I personally do. I don't think it's a moral issue, so we really don't need to fight about it. <laughs> Some people do think it's a moral issue and they will, you know, go to their grave defending the curling of the eyebrow, uh, eyebrows, eyelashes, and um, they're going to make a real big thing about it. I do not care about it. So, um, you know, fight the good fight though. Um, and, uh, but anyway, just so you know. I don't typically curl my eyelashes maybe once or twice a year when I remember, if I remember, if I want to. Sometimes I will. So that's what we're dealing with. You know ahead of time if you don't like it and you're ready to explode, bon voyage. You know, just hop out, find something, go to a safe space, whatever you need to do. Anyway, here we go. All right, so here's the Packaging Air Volume Mega Mascara. So let's just take a look. I haven't seen a single review on this. I know it's been out for a little while, but and other people have done reviews, but I have not seen anything about it. So here's the brush. Okay, the brush is a little bit fat for my taste because I just feel like that's going to get mascara all over my... I, sorry, you guys. I've got like ah, a fuzz on my lip. Just drive me crazy. Um, so I feel like that's going to get mascara all over my eye, my nose, everywhere. Um, it says it has an airy texture. Is that what it said? Airy formula? So let's just see how it goes. Here we go. I hope you can see. Okay. Right off the bat, one thing I'm liking about it that I think all mascaras should do in their formula is it is grabbing my lashes. Like a lot of times I'll put, I'll try and use a mascara wand and it it just pushes my lashes out of the way. It doesn't actually like, my lashes don't stick to it. It doesn't grab my lashes and I'm trying to put it on there and my lashes are being pushed away from it. So. Um, this is nice because it's actually grabbing the lashes and I'm able to comb it through, so. My lashes are sticking together the tiniest bit, but it's doing what I like, which is um, making them full and bushy and fluffy. Um, again, if you're new here, I don't like spiky lashes at all. So this is already being uh, get, leaning towards a mascara that I would like because I want 10 million lashes, big and bushy. And I feel like this really is giving me that so far. So big, long, fluffy lashes. That's, what I, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And um, ordinarily I might wipe off a brush, a mascara brush, um, just to see if that helps with you know, keeping down, keeping clumps to a minimum, keeping lashes sticking together to a minimum. But honestly, on a first impression for this, I feel like I don't need to do that with this mascara because it's just, it's not applying too much product. My lashes are, now I look like I got a lot of lashes. They're moderately curled, um, just, just from this, not from curling them, just from using the mascara. And then also the lashes aren't sticking together and they're full and fluffy and bushy. And that's what I like. Um, they're not crazy dramatic. So, I would still use this even on a day when I'm trying to be dramatic or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like if I have a, a, a big makeup day, I would still use a mascara like this, but it's not overly dramatic. Um, now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the other eye. Um, I won't, I'm not going to wipe the brush off because I, I just feel like I don't need to. Um, 
but then what I'll do is I'll put another coat on the other eye and see if we can make it more a little bit more dramatic Okay, this one they're sticking together a bit more on this side so maybe wiping off the brush would be a, a good idea excuse me ladies just getting a tissue so I can kind of do that so I'll wipe it off and we'll see how it um, affects now a lot of product did come off so it, the the brush is pretty well coated we'll just see if this helps to kind of separate I don't know if there's a waterproof version that might be of interest to those of you that um, have issues with mascaras smudging. Okay, yeah, so this, this isn't like the most amazing mascara that I've ever tried, but it seems like a good one so far. Um, I feel like I like this and would want to continue to use it. I do feel though that I might want a waterproof version because it's making my eyelashes really long and today I don't have a very emollient um, under eye concealer or eye cream on. I just have regular moisturizer on and I didn't put any oil on my little dry patch right here today yet. I'll probably do that tonight but I can feel my lash touching my under eye every time I blink and if I had something under my eyes that's very emollient and might make the mascara sponge I a sponge smudge <laughs> I had that happen last mascara Monday um that mascara smudged all over my under eyes because because the under eye concealer I had on was really really shiny emollient very moistury and it just the mascara just could not compete against it it just smudged all everywhere within like a matter of 15 minutes or so it was just smudged everywhere so that's something to think about and take take into consideration but as a first impression I think this is a good one um I yeah I, I think this is a good one I would personally use this you know and say it's fine I will however wear it for the rest of the day update my thoughts in the description below or in the comments whichever I get to first thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to thumbs up like subscribe ding my bell and I'll see you in the next one bye